salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemy, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing I desire of the Lord, and that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. Welcome to Lily of the Valley. We come for no other purpose but to lift up praise, magnify, and glorify our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of all the praise and all the glory. We now are going to turn you over to the hands of our deacons. Depending on you, oh God. Oh, 
we realize that we don't know what's way to turn. We don't know what's way to go. But we know that you know all things. That you are God that never make a mistake. Well, you are God that knows what's way to take us, oh God. We thank you for that, oh God. You know, God, we, 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 we must take you, oh God, for yes, this man of God that yes. said hi and look low. Yeah, now we must take you, oh God, for the man of God who shows us grace. Yes. Yes. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, you know, God, we, 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 we thank you, oh God, for the daughter's son, Jesus, who loved God on the cross. And we may all have a right to right the tree of life. Yeah. We thank you, oh God. Yeah. You know, God, as we uh, sung a last prayer, yeah. and I said our last prayer to sung a yeah. last song, yeah. and there was blessed somewhere in your kingdom. Yeah. We will serve yeah. you forever, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. This is on the devotion service. Uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the service.
this angel that you've given us to oversee us. Touch her, Father, in a mighty way that gives her that spark, that gives her that lift, Father, to go further. And Father, we understand that he is a man, but Father, he's a man that you call to be in the charge of this place. And so Jesus is And Father, we want to lift him up. We want to raise his arms up this morning, Father, so that he can give us a word directly from your throne. Father, these things we pray boldly and proudly in the name of Jesus.
thank you, brothers. I don't know about you, but it is, it is in my heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
you know, 30 looking 50, 40 looking 65, and we should be 30 looking 20 when we are walking with God. Y'all want to pray with me? You see, a broken spirit happens when a spirit attacks spirit. Amen. It's, it's what we call a spiritual warfare. And when our spirit is under attack, we have to rely, this is what I'm saying, on a higher power. Amen. We have to let go and give it to God. And have God to fight this battle. And I'm here to tell you, he can fight all battles. Amen. We allow him to. When we, this is it, when we try to fight our spiritual war on our own, yeah, I got it. We, yeah, yeah, we, we've already lost our physical body suffer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right, so we cannot fight what we cannot see. Right. Amen. Even those things that we can see, we should turn them over yeah. Yeah, to God. Turn them over to God. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh, but against principality. Listen, we are we are attacked on all front on a daily basis. The devil is busy. Can I say that again? The devil is busy. And we are attacked on the front, the right side, the left side, and the back. Even those who go to church will attack you. Yes, Y'all gonna pray with me? Yes, now a hurt. My hurt. A hurt is a heartbreak. Yes, Amen. Yes. It will make you cry. Yes, lose a night of sleep yes. or two. Hurt may cause you to miss a meal or two. Yes. When you're hurt, you still come to church smile enough yes, to fool everyone. Yes, you still can testify. Sing and, and say praises the Lord and pretend that everything is all right. Listen here, you can fake it until you make it. You, know, you understand that time that hurt will heal, the pain will go away after some confronting words and, and, and shows of compassion, you will be all right. When you are hurt, you can say the scripture that says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm glad that sometimes joy comes in the morning. When you're hurt, amen. amen. You can get over it easy. But broken is more than a heartbreak. Although it is broken heart. You see, a heartbreak will cause you to cry. But a broken heart can cause you to die. Yes. When you are broken, you begin to develop illness yes. that you never had before. Yeah. You begin to worry and have anxiety, hatred, and malice start to rule you. You begin to feel hopeless and helpless. You begin yes. to think that you are no more any good. And then why? Because you have been broken. Is not anyone here, I believe, oh that has at some point in their life yes, yes. dropped a cup my or vase and a piece of it chipped out. You get out your super glue or your gorilla glue <laughs> and place it back yeah, and after a little time can hardly even tell that the cup or vase was ever damaged. Oh Amen. You can continue to use it for whatever reason you use it for in the first place. Yeah. It would hold water, yeah. coffee, well, or whatever you put in. It was damaged, but now it is fixed. It's all right now. And I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that God can take brokenness and put it back together. I don't know what they did with Humpty Dumpty. They could put them back together again. But I know a man named Jesus that can put you back together again. Have you ever been broken? And it only was the grace of God, amen, that put you back together again. 
The Bible, amen, tells us, amen, in Psalm 34 and 18, says, The Lord is not unto them that are a broken of a broken spirit. Y'all do hear me, don't you? Amen. To someone else today, maybe just another Sunday. Let me say it again. It must be it's just another Sunday. But to you today is a miracle. Let me hear you say miracle. Because if it had not been for the grace of God, amen, we wouldn't be here on today. But the Lord, amen, performed another miracle early this morning. Early this morning. Allow us to see him one more time. The Bible tells us somewhere it says, Surely, grace and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Can I tell you on Monday, grace and mercy follow me? On Tuesday, grace and mercy follow me. On Wednesday and Thursday, grace and mercy follow me. On Friday and Saturday, grace and mercy follow me. Yeah. But early, yeah. early Sunday morning, yeah. surely grace yeah. and mercy follow me. Yeah. Grace yeah. and mercy will hold you yeah. in the midnight hour. Grace yeah. and mercy yeah. will walk with you, yeah. talk with you. Yeah. Grace yeah. and mercy will pick you up, turn you around, place your feet on the solid ground, grace and mercy on, on Calvary, on rugged cross, grace and mercy on his head, and then he died, grace and mercy lay down in a bar tomb, grace Reach in the heavens above and the hell below. Lord Jesus lead you 
and guide you. It says in the word that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. And once y'all ready, once you get saved, we want to encourage you to come to the living of the Come. Continue to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, at the Living Church. If you want to get in touch with us, get in touch with us at 210-223-5975. And once this lockdown is over, if you want to come and join us and be with us, we would love to have you. Our address is 134. San Antonio, Texas, 78220. But until then, we encourage you to continue to study your word. And continue to pray. Continue to pray. I heard an old man once say, I pray for you, you pray for me. And watch God change things.
the devil don't know that you sing that about when you're long. citizens in the audience and we are practicing practicing social distance and uh, next Saturday at noon if you desire that you'd like to be here with the service and after Saturday we put it out on Sunday morning you're more welcome to come on Saturday Amen. listen I think I told you last week our goal is uh, praying that we would return back to the church on the first Sunday of June the first Sunday of June um, I also want to tell you all to um, that I pray that you all had a great Mother Day on that Sunday. Yeah. Amen. I'll tell you this, we had a great Mother Day on that Sunday. Yeah. And keep doing what you're doing for your mama. You only yeah. got one. Yeah. Amen. Keep praying, keep reading your Bible every day. Read your Bible every day. Amen. Read your Bible every day. Also, you're doing a great job in your giving. Um, uh, an excellent job in your giving. You can give online through Giveify, uh, Cash, the Lady Church, or Cash app, or you can drop it off at the church Monday through Friday from 10 to 1. 10 to 1, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. God bless you all. God keep you. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Sunday. And make sure you keep God first. You can read your Bible every day. God loves you, and I love you too. If God. Satisfied with me. 